What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Will Burn Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife, D. We back with another great reaction video. I love y'all, man. Y'all in the comment section be hot. Y'all be, be keeping it real. That makes me we, laugh. That's what we do over here, man. We, we react and have fun. And, and some con content might be a little controversial, but it's, it's all about laughs, man. At the end of the day, we got to laugh, laugh, laugh. But uh, today we're heading into some more laughter. Before we dive in, if you are new, subscribe to this channel. Like all I that like good laughing. stuff. Laughing. Laughing is good for the I never can pronounce his last name. I know one of y'all broke it down and abbreviated, but we got Ricky. Mr. Ricky is who we going into. And, um, you know, his last name. It's it's spelled right, but the G can be sound like a J sound sometimes. You know, Jervies. Or it could be Gervies. You know, you just never know sometimes. So we just going to roll with Ricky. And uh, he roasting women this time. Y'all just roasting. I love it. We on a roasting. Why it got to be us? And he roasting somebody. Somebody. Oh, him. Oh, I love yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you kept it for you. We were yeah. together for a couple of days. <laughs> I know. You're absolutely mental. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a nice way? Yeah. In yeah. a nice way? Yeah. But so. Basically, you match too. I feel sorry for them, right? No, I do. Particularly, particularly fat women, because fat is a feminist issue. Men get fat and we just go, fuck it, all bought and paid for, you know. <laughs> we don't come under the same constraints of society. Whereas we women know. are inundated with images of how you should be. Size zero models, this diet, that diet, look like this, keep your man. And they make such an effort, don't they, fat girls? They've all, always got lovely hair. Oh, they're always having their hair. They've all got lovely hair. Always got lovely hair. Always got those lovely false nails, haven't they? False they nails. make an effort. Anything but jogging, right? <laughs> They love high heels, don't they? They think it makes their legs look less... It doesn't. It just... <laughs> you can just hear them coming now. <laughs> now he's laughing at it. I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs, so next time, buy two seats. I'm joking. Oh, my I'm God! I'm joking. <laughs> Shut up. Our next presenter is the Queen of Pop. Oh. I would not want you to sit down. Go get it. You missed it. Go back. No, I did it because she's all woman. Go back. I'll give you some clues. Our next presenter is the queen of pop. Not you, Alton. Sit down. <laughs> she's all woman. I'll give you some clues. Oh, she's God, always Vogue. Good. She's a material girl. And she's just like a virgin. Katy Perry? <clears throat> Please welcome Madonna. Oh, Madonna. But that is far from that. Why did he do like that? Yeah, you know. If I'm still just like a virgin, Ricky, then why don't you come over here and do something about it? Oh. I haven't kissed a girl in a few years. Oh, Ricky. I'm going to get you some of that. The girls. Which is such a, which is on TV. Who's playing in the back? Was that Ricky? I trended <laughs> on Twitter that day. I was I trended. I wasn't even there. Nothing to do with me. Because people are saying, what would what would Ricky Gervais have said? What would what would have happened to Ricky Gervais? Well, Security. nothing. And, and I and I said this live. I said nothing would happen to me because I wouldn't have told a joke about his wife's hair. I'd have told a joke about a boyfriend. <laughs> And that was the joke. But someone from the press was in, and then that got put in the press. So I trained it again. <laughs> so I try and keep a mouth shut unless it's work, like a gig. And all these people say, no, no, it's, it, it, was, it was joking about. Someone said it was joking about her disability. <laughs> well, I'm going a bit thin, so I'm disabled. I, that means I can park right up next to the You're right there, Ricky. Now. Go ahead. And I'm. Um, and I'm fat. That's a that's a disease, isn't it? I'm fat and balding. <laughs> I am. Really. <laughs> I should get fucking benefit. But actors aren't just loved here in Hollywood. They are loved the world over because they're recognisable. You can be anywhere. You could be in the third world, okay? And you get a glimpse of a Hollywood star, and it makes you feel better, okay? You could be a little. A little child, a little Asian child, with no possessions and no money. But you get a, you see a picture of Angelina Jolie, and you think, oh, "Mummy." Is she in there? Is she in there? Is the question. Oh. Thank you. Let's get on with it before 
NBC replaced me with Jay Leno. Um, For everybody, you went to the Achilles heel of everybody. Like, when you tell a woman who's, you know, that her, that it's, you know, she looks old, that just hits a woman it's, deep it, in the... What, what did I say, did I say well, that I think you said something about the Sex in the City women, like, about... I said it was airbrushed, and I said, we know we how old you are, girls. I saw one of you in an in a episode of Bonanza. Yeah, okay. Right? <laughs> 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 Bonanza? <laughs> No, I was saying, I why lie? There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with being 50 or looking 50. I don't. not a woman. I, don't, yeah, but I, 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 I love him. Bonanza is old. I know, I know. He's just speaking. I've never been seen it. I just always knew it was late when it came on. He's just speaking facts. That's all it is. She will speak facts. I don't think you lose your sensuality at 50. But as I say, I'm going to be nice tonight. I've changed. Have you? Not as much as Bruce Jenner, obviously. <gasps> now Caitlyn Jenner. Of course. What a year she's had. She became a role model for trans people everywhere, showing great bravery in breaking down barriers and destroying stereotypes. She didn't do a lot for women drivers, but... <laughs> Welcome to Have my you... show. Uh, it's not a show. There's no dancers or jugglers. It's basically a bloke talking, um, which is essentially what stand-up comedy is, isn't it? A bloke talking. Sexist. Um, <laughs> What about all the funny female comedians? Like, um... <laughs> no, no, no. This is okay. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. OK, right. That Same was irony, then. OK? There's going to be a bit of that throughout the show. See if you can spot it, OK? <laughs> now, that's when I say something I don't really mean for comic effect. And you as an audience, you laugh at the wrong thing because you know what the right thing is. <laughs> it's a way of satirising attitudes. Like that first joke, I use the old-fashioned sexist trope that women aren't funny. Now, in real life, I know there are loads of funny women. Like, um... <laughs> you didn't get it that. I did it again. Well spotted. Good. <laughs> no, but there are. Um, Dame Edna Everidge. She... Is he got name? Eddie Izzard. I can name some She's brilliant, that are funny. isn't she? Not she's not only a great comedian, she's she's also a great actress, isn't she? She's he answered your question. He answered your question. He's an actress. I was really bad in love till you rise, yeah. Now I can see the color of my eyes, yeah. Hold on. I love you to the year. Dumb atheist. Why quote Richard Dawkins? His words. And a little cherubim. Looking. Yeah, if it's a looking. Yeah, yeah. People say I. People think I say offensive things purely for the joy of upsetting people. Just this is not the case. I do it for the <laughs> money. Glad that I was here on my own. I saw a documentary back in England about this woman who was 350 pounds because she ate 10 burger and fries a day. That's what that'll do it. not eight. You said ate. She ate. 10 separate meals of burger and fries. That's 10 nice. separate trips to McDonald's, right? Run. In a cab. Oh, didn't even walk that. <laughs> Wasted calories, OK? So, to stop her eating these meals, they wired her jaw together. So she liquidised 10 burger and fries Ew. a day. That's now nasty. she's on burger smoothies. Ew. Now she's not even chewing. That used up three calories. I... Mm -hmm. So lo and behold, she gets I ain't fatter. a meal on this planet Earth that I, I so need that bad. they admitted her to have that thing done where you staple your stomach together. Mm -hmm. And she's sitting there in hospital, looking all depressed. Well, you can't eat for an hour before an operation, can you? <laughs> Black hair, smock. <laughs> Christ knows where they got that, right? <laughs> and she said, it's a really dangerous procedure, but it's the only option left. Your <laughs> life is dangerous. <laughs> One, jogging? <laughs> you don't even walk. Right. Uh, salad? You don't like the taste. <laughs> Three, nine burger and fries a day. <laughs> yeah, play it with... That's a lot. It's a play start, isn't it? But are they like his meal burgers or it's a start, it's really matter. Jesus. If you get two, okay, I don't even eat McDonald's. I didn't have McDonald's here, but, but but when I had it, they got the menu, the meal where they got two little cheeseburgers on there mm -hmm. and a fry. That's a lot. That's like a kid's burger. 
But that's what I'm saying. Does she eat ten kids burgers? It don't smaller, matter. Or do she eat Big Mac? Man, you, you, know? you ain't about to try it. No, but no. I'm we not have, uh, this justified. I'm just saying. We have some fat people in Britain, but um, you, like everything else, are, are the gold medalists of that as well. Right? <laughs> You'd win that in the Olympics. I saw this episode of Jerry Springer. It was called Jerry Springer Saves the World's Fattest Man. You've got to watch that. So he's there going, OK, let's try and save this guy's life. He's got a heart of gold as well. He's like me, sure right? So, I ain't never heard of this. So it cuts to this guy at home more. in his house. They couldn't bring him to the studio. They had a camera crew there. And I say house. He was in a trailer, obviously. And um, <laughs> he was. He was. He was like a big blob on the bed. He sort of filled the trailer. He looked like an un uncooked souffle. <laughs> and... It was, you could just see like, his eyes in this Blood. doughy mess. And <laughs> he was going, I don't want to die, Jerry. I don't want to die. And I felt sorry for him. So well. I got over that. But, and I, I said, How much do you weigh? And he, and he weighed a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. Now, my point is this when he weighed himself one day and he was saying, 500 pounds. Okay. Didn't he think then that was a lot? <laughs> Didn't he go, that's a lot. Right? No, it's not enough. For a human. <laughs> for what is essentially a land mammal. That's a lot. Oh, I'll only have eight breakfast today. He did. That is mind blowing. For us, we used to watch, um, as sometimes we would watch 600 pound life. Yeah. And then we used to watch A Thousand Pound Sisters. The Thousand Pound Sisters, like, that one, um, that one's really sad. It's funny because they have beautiful personalities, but it's sad because we realize nine times out of ten, which is not an excuse and it's not justifiable probably to a lot of people, but they usually, it's a trauma that causes them to overeat. It's something that they go through in life that literally just puts them it's in this crazy. depression mode. That's just a heavy... And it's just... It's sad. It, it's, it's sometimes the way they be eating, I'm like, mm -mm. how? It's sometimes... It's, you ever like seen, he said, blending stuff up. I'm like... you ever seen so much food, but it doesn't look appetizing, so it makes you want to like... Like, you just... It's like, how do you eat all this? Like, my thing is like, how do you eat it all? Ask, like, they do they pounds. not get full? They're a thousand pounds. But Ask they them. don't get full? Ask them. They're a thousand pounds. Growing up, they used to say your your stomach is the size of your thousand fist. Pounds. Their fist ain't that big. Thousand pounds. I don't know. Ricky, just, like I, I like Ricky, man. Ricky funny. I, I love like, him. He has see, the accent. It's so crazy though. Like is he he, married? when he showed his tweets, like people saying stuff. It's the same thing. Like when we reacted yesterday. Yeah. When people speak what they want to speak, it's a problem. They're but when human. you shut up and be quiet, it's like he didn't speak up for himself. He a comedian. When they talk, that's what they do. I just feel like comedians is just off the people, off off. off how did, what is it called when it's like off? Oh, my thing is don't watch them. I can't. I can't think of the word. Just don't watch them then. That's, that's my true. thing. Like if you got something, oh you don't, then don't watch them. That's true. That's simple. That's but true. it was funny. I love it. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. That announcement is coming. Oh, my bad. Uh, me and D been busy as hell. No. We haven't forgot. D just got to put y'all names in the thing thing, and uh, we got to generate that, and we send the it thing out. thing. And we are gonna send that money to you. Okay, okay. And we can't forget our ASMR. Oh, God. It's getting ghetto. I'm doing a ghetto one, okay? Ghetto.